Okay, so I grew up super poor and it was obviously not fun at all. As a kid, I was really embarrassed and I think the feeling I felt was ashamed because my friend's parents had to like drop me off and our lawn was like, you know, it was like two feet tall because our lawnmower was broken and we couldn't afford to fix it for like years. I mean, my just imagine living with no air conditioning and like your fridge doesn't work half the time. It's things you don't think about, like when things break, like you can't really afford to fix them. My mom was a secretary in elementary school with five kids, so. She didn't have like extra money to fix things that broke. We never had cute clothes, but my sister was in high school and she was like the most gorgeous person I'd ever seen in my entire Like she was a celebrity to me. Like I would watch her. I loved sitting on the floor watching her get ready. She would wear the cutest outfit somehow and I was like, how are you doing that? Like where, where are you getting that from? And then one day Kelly got a boyfriend and she brought him over to our house. I was like, Kelly, this is not a house that you bring people to. Pull yourself together. <laughs> when he walked into our house, it was like, one of these things does not belong. First of all, he was like 6'8". You could tell he was like a popular kid. I think he played like, I don't know, lacrosse or something. I don't know, but he was hot. While I was walking around, I was so embarrassed and I was watching his face like waiting for him to be like, ew, I want to go back to my like, I don't know, probably rich person house. Like our carpet was like stained gray with like, it was like polka dotted carpet because we had like five kids in one house. Like just things were everywhere. I mean like everything was broken. Instead of being like, ew, I hate it here. He walks over to me and he's like, hi. What? <laughs> what? Which is a normal thing to do. But he was a tall, hot high schooler guy in my house. And he said hi in a way that didn't even like feel bad for me. He was like, hi, not in like a hi kind of way. It was like a nice hi. And then he started playing Mario Kart with me. And that is how I knew I was straight. So yeah. This girl really had the audacity. Ready with me story time. I was once really good friends with this girl. We were friends for 10 plus years she was my right hand girl but keyword was we are no longer friends basically this girl and i were best friends and i remember there was this oh there was this other girl who i just knew didn't like me and me as a person i'm very quick to pick up on people's energy and their intentions and i just had this gut instinct that she didn't like me but she was just cool with me because she was also really cool with my best friend i could be wrong but in my opinion i felt like this other girl we'll give her the name cassandra i felt like cassandra was always jealous of me and my ex-best friends friendship because she wished to be in my shoes if that makes any sense at all i felt like i was always just cool with cassandra because she was always in the picture and when i say she was always in the picture we all grew up playing sports together so there wasn't a day where i wasn't going to see this girl you know we were always at the park together and again we had the same mutual friends like there was no way of avoiding this cassandra girl every time it was us three or other people but obviously me my best friend were there and also this other girl were there i just let her have her time with her because you can just tell that she just envied me i'm sorry but that is how i felt people can say otherwise but that is truly how i how i felt and also too my ex best friend at that time did know that i feel like i was just kind of cool with this girl because she was always around and one thing about me is i do not do drama and i'm also one of the most nicest person ever not to mention we were all three on the same sports team i grew up playing softball almost my entire life up until half of my high school years and so of course as a teammates you guys have each other's numbers you guys are in group chats etc again i really want to specify the bond that me and my ex-best friend had because it was inseparable everyone would always compliment our friendship they would always say oh my god you and beep are goals i want a friend like you like i'm telling you guys we were like this i swore this girl was gonna be my best friend for the rest of my life my ex-best friend's birthday was coming up and this cassandra girl messages me and I feel like during that time, I was just trying so hard to get close to my best friend. Again, they were already friends. They were cool. I'm not a hater. Like, if my best friend had other girlfriends, then cool. At the end of the day, I knew where her and our friendship stood. You know, I was never really, like, that jealous friend. But I remember one day, this Cassandra girl messages me. And she was like, hey, what are you going to get your ex-best friend for her birthday? And my ex-best friend, she loved butterflies. And if I'm not mistaken, she also mentioned to me how she always wanted a butterfly necklace and so me being the person that i am i'm such a giver i love to buy people things i love to put a smile on other people's faces so i knew right off the bat that i was going to get this girl a butterfly necklace including other gifts so like i said this cassandra girl messages me and i end up telling her what i'm going to get my best friend not thinking that she was going to get her the same gift i was like hey 
I'm gonna end up getting her this and then I remember she was just like okay that was literally the end of the conversation a couple of days passed by and I get another text message from her and she goes hey where are you gonna buy her the necklace like at that time I already had the necklace remember she was also sending me like pictures of necklaces too butterfly necklaces to be exact and I was like dude there's no way this girl's gonna go and get her the same necklace the fact that you're trying so hard to like please this girl or like take her away from me or whatever you're whatever you were trying to do like whatever your motive was like I, it could just it just blows my mind how girls are like this right i ended up going to my best friend's house i ended up giving her her gifts and obviously one of her gifts was the butterfly necklace she loved it and keep in mind the necklace was maybe like smaller than like the pendant i guess you can say was a little bit smaller than this it was like a smaller butterfly necklace and also too i never really seen her with big pendants so the sizing was a little bit tricky for me because i really wasn't sure i just knew that she wanted a butterfly necklace and also not to mention if this girl really knew my best friend like she swore she was one you wouldn't be asking me what gift um, I'm going to get her and second of all like you wouldn't try to compete with me You know and you also wouldn't try to compete with the size of a pendant like bro be for real Anyway, so I believe it was that same day. She got a text from that girl's family Oh, let's not talk about that family They ended up coming over and I actually had to hide in her mom's master bedroom with her brother Yes, I just knew that my best friend knew that they didn't like me or felt some type of way towards me The thing is like I never really gave them a reason like if you were to go ask their family and this girl Why they don't like me or what they feel towards me I guarantee you they can't give you a reason and they're and if you do ask them They're just gonna be fake about it and I don't I can't stand people like that if you're gonna be two-faced I don't want you near me at this point I am in the master bedroom with her brother just hearing everything that's going down they're literally in the living room and from the living room to the master room you can hear everything they had a one story so I heard all the conversations I heard everything that this family had to say I'm just listening to the conversation and the one thing that will always stick to me was when the mom was like oh our butterfly necklace is better than Ashley's and I was like bro really like at this point like you, you you think this is a competition like this is so sad like what really is your intention like what really was your purpose in getting the necklace to try to overpower me like for what like I don't understand like you're 40 50 years old and you're out here trying to compete with me like bro you don't even let your daughter talk like first of all the fact that like y'all really got a butterfly necklace too is one crazy like the audacity it also wasn't even about the fact that they they got the same gift as me they got a bigger pendant theirs was like this bigger and they were like oh well our pendant is way bigger and way nicer and i was like bro the audacity and me being me i'm such a nice person dude i literally just heard them talking the entire time i didn't get out of the room and i also like i said i'm not a drama girl so if i can stay away then i i will and the thing is like that family to this day doesn't even know that i was in the room and i know everything that was going on and also by the way if you're wondering i think she wears her necklace more which again i don't care it was more like the thought that counts but i mean to each their own. 